Hello and welcome back to Haiku Tutorial. In this video we're going to move on to numeric variables. Still, this video is going to be split into three parts. Overview, Basic Usage, Properties and Actions. Let's start with the overview. A numeric variable stores an integer or a floating point number, or a decimal. It can also store a formula that has a number as its result. And unlike strings, Numeric variable stores actual numbers, so it allows arithmetic operations including addition, subtraction, and generating random numbers. Then when are we going to use them? As the name suggests, we usually use numeric variable for storing numeric data that may need calculation, for example, the user's age or the production or revenue. The simplest way to determine whether to use a string or numeric variable is to think about whether you need to do calculation on this data in question. Generally speaking, we will store ID numbers and phone numbers in strings, even if they are numbers, because you don't need to do calculation on them. We're not going to collect users' phone numbers and perform some addition or subtraction to the phone number. It just doesn't make sense. But for people's ages, as they grow every year, it is reasonable to store them in numeric variables. And same for today, let's go to the editor and see how we can use numeric variables in practice. Let's go through the same procedure of adding a page and selecting this as the parent. We can find the numeric variable here, this icon with uppercase N. The one and only property of this numeric variable is its value. I can set a random value for it, for example 12, and I have this up and down arrow indicating this is a number, and I can change the value with my mouse. The first action to do with this variable is pretty simple, still set value. I can set a new value for it using this action. And this session is for roundings. For if I am receiving a dynamic value for this variable, I can round it up to the set decimal before passing it on to the next step. For example, I can change this to a decimal and round up to the first digit after the decimal point. Then to print this value in the console. It shows the value of number 1 is 123.1, which is rounded up to this digit. And changing this to, for example, 2 will round it up to the second digit. However, for more reliable result, it is recommended to use JavaScript functions for roundings, for example, math.seal and floor and round. And next we have the actions to add and minus 1. Here we can find the add and minus operations. Let's go with this at one. And we usually follow such an action of changing a certain result by a console log. So that we can monitor the result as it is executed. The current value of number one is 12. So let's go to preview. At one. 13, and if I continue to click it, each time it adds one to itself. Minus one works in the same way. Minus one. And for add n, the setting looks like this. You can specify an n, say 6,
and each time it adds 6 to itself. And now we have the action of generating random number. We can generate a random number with decimals or a random integer. I'll need to specify a minimum and maximum, for example 1 to 100, and add a console log. This will give me a random number from between 1 to 100. Generating random numbers has a wide range of applications. For example, you can use it for a lucky draw application. And that is the end of today's video on numeric variables. Thank you very much for watching.